Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to set up a USB web camera on a Raspberry Pi to take time lapses, so let's go. So the first thing you're going to do is open up the terminal in your Raspberry Pi. You're going to do a sudo app-get space update, hit enter, let that complete. Then we're going to do a sudo app slash get upgrade and then you're going to let it upgrade the system. Now this will take some time. I think for mine it actually took over an hour. So just let it do its thing and you will get prompted so you just hit yes and it'll go through and you just leave it. Once that's done we're going to type in the terminal sudo space apt dash get space install space motion hit enter it'll download those files and then you hit the Y button for yes to install. Once that's done we're going to type LSUSB, hit enter, and then what you can see is that these are the USB ports on our Raspberry Pi. So what we're going to do next is plug in our USB web camera. So once we've plugged that in, we go back to the terminal again, type the same thing, and there we can see the webcam is showing up on the Raspberry Pi or connected to the Raspberry Pi. So what I'm going to quickly show you is where this has been installed. So in the ETC folder, if we scroll down, there'll be a folder called motion. And here we have the files in here. Now the motion.config file is what we're going to modify. So on our terminal, we're going to type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash motion forward slash motion dot conf. Hit enter, it opens up that file. Now inside this file is where we're going to set up all of the settings that we need to change. Now I'm not going to go through each one of these on here. In the description below I've got in there the configuration files that I've changed of those settings. So you can change yours to set it up the same if you want. There is a lot of other things you can set up in this configuration file so that you can have more than just the stop motion or the time lapse setup. So, there's also other things in there like the file location of where all your images would be stored. So go through, make sure you have a look through that file and actually check and change what you need to for your setup. Once you've done, all you need to do is the control and X button and then you can hit enter to save that file. So once we're back at the terminal, I'm going to do sudo space service space motion space restart and then we're ready to actually start this time lapse. So to do that all we're going to type is sudo space motion hit enter and then the program will start. Now to stop the service all you have to do in the terminal is paste the following hit enter and then it'll stop the motion software. Now if I go to the folder structure and the default one is the folder structure you can see here I can see all those snapshots in there that the webcam has taken and as you can see here's a bunch of photos that has been taken. So down in the corner you can see I had my interval set to 10 seconds apart and you can see it's actually got the timestamp there in the corner. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see other tutorials similar to this. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for further projects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.